All right, hey guys, Jerry from Showtime Audio. Just working on the enclosure for the uh, F-150 Lightning. So this one is gonna have two 13 uh, TW5s under the seat. So the, the box is a little bit complicated. So what we're, I'm building it right now, getting all the pieces assembled. So what we're doing is the enclosure actually has this step down so that we can take advantage of this airspace. Typically we would go straight across and the woofers would just fire down and there would be a gap under the enclosure. But we need all the airspace we can get for these subwoofers. So we decided to drop down. This way we can get this amount of airspace and this amount of airspace and take advantage of all the space we have. And then we just have the slot underneath where all the base will be forced to come out uh, into, the ca into the cabin of the vehicle. All these had to be cut individually out of a sing, you know, out of a single template, and then we stack them all up to make this rounded corner. So when we're done, it'll have this appearance that the wood is actually rounded and gives it this follows the shape of the seat, right? So now also we're gonna have to we're not done yet, but we have to trim this rounded. So we have to create the same uh, angle so that it matches up over here. So I'll show you the way. Because ideally, because the top will go like that, right? So we have to machine this these pieces down to have that same pitch. So it's machined down, but it also has a radius. So it just makes it really complicated. And then on the other, also, we're gonna have a center rib. Now just to show you that this all lines up. So this rib will also line up with the enclosure. And this rib will actually live in the center. So it'll brace this span because it's a long span. Anytime you have a long span, you wanna brace it so that the box doesn't flex and it's more rigid, therefore making transferring more energy to the vehicle instead of vibrating the enclosure itself. So this is the framework of basically all the rounded corners, uh, end caps, front, rear, the baffle, uh, brace. And then all we have left is the top the top section. So we gotta nail all this together. We gotta route this down. So we're gonna have to plane this to, to, meet, to meet this surface and then nail it all up and get it wrapped and in the truck and plane. Just so you can see, so this is the flat piece and the other flat piece and look at that. I mean, basically it's absolutely perfect, right? So this, this plane now and this plane are all even. So when we put our top on, it'll perfectly seal and we can nail it and it'll be solid. So we rounded, you know, Hondo rounded all the corners. We put in a round corner brace here at the back. And then even on the rib, he rounded over the inside of the rib, okay? And then as you can see, this is all perfectly flush now. And then, so it's braced, it's reinforced, it's reinforced, it's all plain. So now he's just gotta assemble the top and then we'll, we're gonna wrap it. So this is the final product before we wrap it. So we've actually um, uh, machined in this seam line and it goes all the way around and back. And that allows us to wrap the enclosure in two pieces. This end is gonna be carpet because it's covered by the seat. And this end will be vinyl. We also added a uh, um, impression here so that we can also put in a logo. We're gonna have a custom logo in here uh, just so that it kind of ties it into the truck. And we stole this shape from the F-150 logo. If you ever see the F-150 logo, it has the, the ends of the letters are, are notched. So we took that cue and incorporated it into the box just so that it looks like it was made for the vehicle. It is, we lasered a logo just to put in front of the enclosure. We'll show you once it's done. So this is uh, all the lightning has actually a blue accent around it. So to highlight that, we made the entire thing blue because in the box it's all black. So this way it'll, it'll pop a little bit more. Otherwise it would have just been black with a slight blue. In the vehicle, this will actually pop more. We'll show you once that's in the car.